doing a short video here. I've got my uh, mowing deck and I just wanted to show really how much I, I love my, my half inch impact here. This thing will save you all kinds of trouble. Now, those guys that uh, put blocks of wood in their mowing deck and try to stop the blade and then get a breaker bar on it and get it off, it just, you know, that doesn't work good. And you can hurt yourself. I'm actually going to use my foot here. But I can use my bare hand too and grab it, but I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time, so. Clearly this has been on for a while. So, usually when I do it, you can actually grab the blade, even though it's sharp, you can grab it with your bare hand and hit it, and you're still in basically no danger of chopping your fingers off. Whereas before, if you put a block of wood in there or something and try to uh, use a breaker bar or whatever, you can skin your knuckles on something. This makes it so you're essentially completely safe while you're changing out blades. Which, incidentally, you need to do often not once a season probably once every couple of weeks once every couple of mows really and if you actually had a system like this to change it out your life would be a whole lot different at least that's kind of my take Now, the blade is going to tend to rotate this way. I'm just holding it with my foot, and it's not tending to rotate at all. That's on. That's it. That's all it needs. Done. And this other one. One thing you got to have is an extra set of blades hanging around, like all the time. No, nothing more frustrating than get in the middle of a job, you're mowing, you're mowing, and sure enough, you chink a blade. Ugh. Or you bend one, worse. So, you get in the middle of a job, you're doing that, you get a set of blades, you throw on, takes you five minutes. You can see how long that took me. Now, the, the deck happens to be off the mower here, uh, which only takes a few minutes, but with the short head on this thing, all I have to do is actually jack up the mower from the front. Get the mower under under here is good. And you jack it up. And once you got that, you can actually zip the blades off with that thing in a matter of about five minutes, a whole job front to back change out the blades, fresh blades. When you have sharp blades, it's a whole lot easier to cut. Less energy on the motor, more productivity, all that fun stuff. And now, you can take this set of blades, check them for straightness, and grind them down, and then I'll have these ready to go for then the next time I change them out. Basically, any time and every time I take the deck off, uh, or any time I'm jacking this thing up, it just gets the blades get changed. It's simple. It's easy. It's silly not to almost. And right, here's a hot tip. What I did was I actually put the model numbers of things like the the blades that are used and uh, the belt that goes around. Um, put the model numbers right there on the deck. That way I don't have to go looking for anything. So this is just down with packing tape. Seems to be actually holding up pretty good. But all I did was the clear packing tape over a couple of B5 
pieces of paper seems to be holding up right nice that way whenever I go and try to buy a part I don't have to look up the part number it's all right there so there's my hot tip for the day thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe